Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing variables and constants. We understood why do we need variables and constants. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss what is a variable and constant. Variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. Whereas constant is a named memory location whose value never changes during the execution of a program. You can see that variable is a named memory location. Constant is also a named memory location. The difference is variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. Whereas constant is a named memory location whose value never changes during the execution of a program. That is constants stay constant whereas variables vary. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is a variable and what is a constant. Let's understand declaring and initializing variables. We know that in order to store and process different types of data and data values, computer uses its memory. In order to store and process different types of data and data values, computer uses its memory. To allocate a chunk of memory and access it within a program, we need to declare a variable or a constant guys. Declaring a variable or a constant means allocating a memory location for some data. So remember that to allocate a chunk of memory and access it within a program, we need to declare a variable or a constant. We know that variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. In order to change the value in a variable or a constant, we need to initialize or assign a value to it. Initializing a variable or a constant means assigning the initial value to that allocated memory location guys. Putting the initial value in that allocated memory location is called as initializing a variable or a constant. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is declaring a variable or a constant, what is initializing a variable or a constant means. Let's understand syntax for declaring and initializing variables. This is the syntax for declaring a single variable. We write the data type, space, we write name of the variable and then we put semicolon. If I need to keep track of player score, then I need to declare a variable called as player score. As player score will be an integer value, I say here int space player score semicolon. Note, by default, the value of a variable is a garbage value, guys. If you just declare a variable, it is going to have some garbage integer value, guys. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly, step by step. I minimize the word. I double click on code blocks icon to launch it. You can see that code blocks ID is launched. I'm going to create one new project. I say here file, new project. I select here projects say console application, say go. I say next. I select C language, say next. I give the project name, variables demo. I say next. I say finish. You can see that variables demo project is created. I click on the plus sign. I double click on main.c to open it. You can see that main.c file is open. I delete this line of code which is not necessary. I delete this line of code which is not necessary. Here I am going to declare a variable called as player score. I say the data type int space and then we write the name of the variable. I say here player score and semicolon. You must understand what happens when this line of code is executed. When this line of code is executed, computer goes to its memory. It allocates 4 bytes of memory location. Why it allocates 4 bytes of memory location guys? We know that integer data type takes 4 bytes of memory location. To that allocated memory location, it gives a name player score. Let's take its address is hash1 and inside the allocated memory location, it puts some garbage integer value. Let's display the value inside player score variable guys. I go to code blocks. Here I'm going to say printf in double quotations. I say player score equal to and then I say here semicolon. If I build and run, you see that printf displays player score equal to. 
after player score equal to i want to display the actual value inside the player score variable so what i do i say here percentage d we know that we use format specifier percentage d or percentage i to display an integer value it is a place holder for an integer value right here i am going to use backward slash n so that we can get a new line i say comma and then i give the variable player score what happens now the printf function displays player score equal to in this place it displays the value inside player score variable guys if i say build and run you can see that it has displayed player score equal to 2 that means at present the player score value is number 2 i go to memory so player score has a garbage value that is 2 as we know that variable is a named memory location whose value can be changed during the execution of a program to change the value in a variable or a constant we must initialize or assign a value to that allocated memory location right let's understand how do we initialize a single variable this is a syntax for initializing a single variable guys we write name of the variable equal to then we write the value and semicolon let's take the player score has the initial value 0 so we say here player score equal to 0 and then semicolon let me go back to code blocks here i say player score equals to 0 semicolon what happens when this line of code is executed guys computer goes to the memory which has the name player score it erases the current value and puts the given new value that is 0 here now i display the current value of player score using the printf function i copy this and paste down of course here we are getting the value 2 that is the garbage integer value or the default value we are getting and in this place we get 0 guys we get player score equal to 0 if i say build and run you see that we got player score equal to 2 player score equal to 0 so before executing this line player score was 2 after executing this line player score changed to 0 i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we declare a variable and uh, how do we initialize a variable i'm going to comment this code guys i say here forward slash star and star forward slash you can see that this part of the code is comment and we know that it is ignored by the compiler this part of the code is not executed right it is recommended that while declaring a variable you must initialize it that's a good practice guys you should not have a garbage value in a variable it is a recommendation that you must initialize a variable while declaring itself let's understand how do we declare as well as initialize a single variable this is a syntax for declaration and initialization of a single variable we write data type space name of the variable equal to value and semicolon you can see that an example we have here int player score equal to 0 let me go to code block here i am going to declare player score with the initial value 0 so i say here int player score equals to 0 semicolon guys let me go to the ms paint i delete this i go back to code block when i say build and run when this line of code is executed what happens guys of course computer goes to the memory it allocates four bytes of memory location to that memory location it gives a name player score let's take its address is hash 1 this time it is not going to put the garbage value here we have told we don't want the garbage value we want the value zero so instead of putting the garbage value it puts the given value zero guys i go back to code blocks i display the value inside player score so if i build and run you see that this time we got player score equal to 0 so this is a good practice while declaring a variable you should initialize it i comment this code also i say control x and control v so we understood how do we declare a variable 
how do we initialize a variable how do we declare and initialize the variable let's proceed further and get more information let's understand how do we declare multiple variables this is a syntax for declaring multiple variables we write the data type then we write space then we write name of variable 1 then we put comma then we put name of variable 2 comma and so on semicolon for example if i need to keep track of player score and player health i need to create two variables right so i say here int space player score comma player health semicolon right i go to code blocks here what i do i say int player score we use comma and then i say player semicolon what happens when this line of code is executed we need to understand i go to ms paint i delete this so when i say build and run when this line of code is executed computer goes to its memory it allocates one memory location to that memory location it gives a name player score let's take its address is hash one and it is going to put some garbage value inside it because we are not initializing here and then what happens it goes back to the memory it allocates four bytes of memory location to that memory location it gives a name player health let's take its address is hash 5 and puts some garbage value inside it let's display the value inside player score and player health i go to code blocks i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down you can see using this printf i am displaying player score equal to whatever the value inside player score i copy this line of code and paste down and here i say player health h e a l t h and in this place i'll give player health if i say build and run you see that we got player score 2 and player health 80 that means here we have player score 2 player health 80 so by default it is putting the garbage value in player score 2 and it is putting the garbage value in player health 80 right let's change the value inside player score and player health by initializing or putting the initial value so to put the initial value we take help of initialization of single variable syntax we write the name of the variable 1 equal to value semicolon we write name of the variable 2 equal to value semicolon for example player score equal to 0 players health equal to 100 I go to code block here I say player score equal to 0 let's take initially the player health is 100% so I'll just say here player health equal to 100 so when these two lines of codes are executed what happens computer goes to the memory location which has the name player score and it deletes the current content and puts the given current value 0 and after this line of code is executed computer goes to the memory location which has the name player health deletes the current value puts the new value 100 now we can display the current value inside player score and player health using printf i copy these two lines of codes and paste down after executing these two lines of codes of course the player score will be 0 player health will be 100 if i say build and run you can see that player score is 0 player health is 100 so that is how you declare multiple variables and assign values to them i'm going to comment this code i say control x and control v here now this part of the code is comment and it is completely ignored by the compiler right let me go back to ms paint and i delete these content let's proceed further and get more information let's understand how do we declare and initialize multiple variables this is the syntax for declaring and initializing multiple variables guys we write the data type then we write space then we write name of the variable one equal to value comma name of the variable two equal to value comma and so on semicolon for example we can declare as well as initialize both player score and player health 
in one shot. We just write the data type int space player score equal to 0, comma player health equal to 100, semicolon. Let me go to code blocks. Here I say int player score equals to 0, comma player health equal to equal to 100 semicolon that is how you can declare and initialize multiple variables guys what happens when this line of code is executed of course computer goes to its memory it allocates four bytes of memory locations to that memory location it gives a name player score let's take its address is hash 1 instead of putting the garbage value it puts the given value 0 again it creates one more memory location which is of 4 bytes to that memory location it gives a name player health let's take its address is hash 5 inside that it puts the given value 100 right let's display the current values inside player score and player health i take help of these two lines and paste down so what happens now guys of course we'll get 0 and 100 if i say build and run if see we got player score equal to 0, player health equal to 100. That is how you declare and initialize multiple variables. I comment this code also. I go to MS Paint. I delete this content. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is a variable. Remember that variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. Right? I go to code block. Let's create once again player score. I just say here int player score put the initial value inside it 0. What happens when this line of code is executed guys? We know that computer goes to memory. It allocates 4 bytes of memory location. To that memory location it gives a name player score. Let's take its address is hash 1 and it puts the given value 0. Right? So what is a variable guys? Variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. We can change the value of player score memory location at any time just by saying, for example, here I say, I first display the value inside the player score. If I say build and run, definitely we will get player score equal to 0. We can change the value in inside a variable. So I simply say here, player score equal to 10. I display the value inside player score. If I say build and run, this time we'll get here 10, build and run, you see we got player score equal to 10. So that is the reason I told you here that variable is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program guys. And we understood how do we declare and initialize variables in C programming language. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly try the code yourself, experiment with more examples. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss constants. For this video tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.